Okay folks, today I'm going to show you how to update your software from the October 21st version to the December 1st version of the Spooky2 software. I'm running this in test mode just so that I can show you that I currently have the October 21st version loaded. I have the databases in use are the main database, the custom database and molecular weight database. So this is basically a before snapshot. Go to the programs tab and see that I have 13,087 programs. If I untick the molecular weight database, it puts me at 5278. The molecular weight database by itself is 7809. So just giving you an idea of uh, before picture and then we'll do it after. If I go to my computer and my C drive I will see that my Spooky2 folder is on the C drive and uh, you will notice that when I install the December version I will have another Spooky2 folder um, that will it will save the old version but I'll show you afterwards once I get it done okay so I'm gonna close this and uh, I will go ahead and close my software and I'll exit and I'll go to my downloads folder where I have unzipped the necessary files that I need to install the December 1st version. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and double click on the user guide, right click on it, copy it, and I'll paste it to my desktop just to have it handy. I'll just stick it there in the middle. I'll take the October one and just stick it to the side. I'll go back to my downloads folder and do the setup. Uh, you won't be able to see this on your screen but basically it's the user account control that Windows uses to uh, make sure that you want to uh, install a new software and uh, from a publisher that is unknown and of course I'll say yes. So now it's extracting the files. This particular computer is one that runs my active spooky rig of five generators. I'll select yes, I accept the terms of the agreement. It will put it in my destination directory spooky2. So it will overwrite what is there. This is an important dialog box. When you see this one, do not click this close button let it close by itself because I've seen installations fail if you click that close button. It will close on its own like it did just now. So it's copying the files <coughs> and it will save my old files. You'll see it um, flash in front of you here shortly. This is a Core i5 processor so it loads it pretty quickly. It restored my user files um, and I'll go ahead and launch the program and finish. I'll close my downloads folder searching for generators. I don't have any physically attached right now because I'm just updating the software. So this is what occurs. Um, again this is a Core i5 processor um, with a 4 gigs of RAM. Plenty powerful to run the system. It's a Windows 7 operating system. And uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can move that out of the way. And I'll put my uh, Spooky2 user's guide. I always like to keep it on my desktop because it keeps it handy. And what I do, this is my active rig, and I'll have a separate computer that I will use to uh, run a, a test mode. Uh, version of it of the same software so I'll have a December 1st software loaded on a separate computer 
that I can use for Facebook or uh, just to explore the database or create user presets and then transfer them. Um, but uh, this is my active rig. And uh, once this completes loading the molecular weight database, I will launch the software and um, or I will verify in the system tab that I have the correct number of uh, databases loaded and compare it to what uh, we looked at at the very beginning of this video. <coughs> so I will let it complete. It should go up to right at 13,000. Uh, if your specs on your computer is uh, a little bit slower than Core i5 and 4 gigs of RAM, of course it's going to load slightly slower than what you're observing right now. Um, but uh, as a general rule, um, Spooky doesn't require a lot of resources to run. It'll take about half a gig of memory to be just idle with the molecular weight frequencies uh, loaded. No generators were detected, of course, because I don't have any connected. And uh, they asked me if do I want to exit and install drivers, and I'll say no because I want to run it in test mode. So I'll say OK. So now, as you can see, I have the December 1st, 2016 version loaded in test mode. I'll check my system tab and verify that the databases in use are all three of them. I will go to my Programs tab and now compare notes that I have the Molecular Weight Database selected. And that's 7,809 substances. <coughs> and I will load the rest of them and I'm back to 13,087 programs. That it represents a, combine, a combination of all of these sub-databases right here. All right, folks, so that's it. Um, if I go to my uh, computer and double click on C drive, you will see that by installing over the top of my old version, there's an old version saved for me. So if you need to somehow go back to get your custom database, it's going to be here located right here. It's a comma separated value file. So it's a dot CSV. If I click on properties, you will see that it's a comma separated value dot CSV file. Okay, that's in case uh, something happens to your custom database when you install it for whatever reason. Okay, so that takes care of everything. I am now running the um, December 1st version of 2016 of Spooky 2. What I will do is, of course, I'll close the program, turn off the computer, um, connect my hardware, turn the computer back on, turn the generators on, um, and then launch the software and it will look for the for the generators that I have as you can see my generator count is five so it will look for five generators when I relaunch the software so that's it folks um, now you are running the latest stable version and there's a lot of improvements uh, that's a separate video but uh, you will see that uh, there's some huge improvements in the biofeedback we have our own users guide uh, for the Spooky Pulse heart rate monitor biofeedback device. And that's just one of the many new and improved features. So, I hope this has been helpful to you. And thanks for watching.